Welcome back. I'm meteorologist Hayden Nix, along with once again Thomas Lipham. He is the program director of the Museum of Discovery. This is our final episode in the spooky time of year dealing with dry ice. We've had a lot of fun, and honestly, I did not know that you could do this much with dry ice. As a meteorologist myself, I go to school talks and I show how it forms, kind of like the quickness of how a cloud forms, but just using the dry ice is a great illustration. But you have really brought out the works with all of this. And this last one is going to be called Ghost Bubbles. So still using the soap and things like that, but another really cool experiment. So take it away, Tom. Sure, so anytime we're working with dry ice, once again, we always wanna make sure and cover our hands with some gloves and some eyes with some safety glasses. Um, what we're gonna do in this one is uh, similar to what we did in the last uh, experiment where we're making that, that crystal ball bubble where that bubble is growing from the sublimating dry ice. Uh, with this one, we're gonna capture that bubble in a slightly different way. Okay. So we're going to add, I'm adding a little bit of hot water to our uh, just room temperature water to bring that temperature up just a little bit. Used hot tap water at home, you're good. Okay. So I'm going to grab a piece of dry ice and we're going to take a look at what this does as we, and by the way, if your dry ice is not quite the right size, wrap it up in a towel, give it a little smack, and you should be just about ready to go with it. So we get a little piece of dry ice that will fit inside of our container. And don't worry, I'll show everybody how to make one at home for yourself. So you drop a couple medium pieces of dry ice in there, and you notice that really cool, spooky looking fog is coming out of the top. That's the gas sublimating out. Well, what we're really gonna do is we're gonna block that off, and it's gonna force it down this hose. Now, this hose has sublimating gas coming out of it, okay. and you'll notice that that gas is heavy. So the gas is gonna wanna go down what we're going to do is we're gonna trap this escaping gas in some bubble juice. Okay. So you just kind of roll this over and get it. Ah, there it is. I like to let the bubble solution just drip off just a little bit. And then when you lift it up, you've got your ghost bubble. Now, this thing can do a few things. It's a pretty talented ghost. It can do the hula. <laughs> And it can also uh, just kind of wiggle around, bounce around. It likes bounce houses and all that good stuff. And then when you're ready, you lift it up, tilt it sideways, and then lift up, and your ghost goes flying. Look at that. How fun is that? I'll hand it over to you. Let me try this. So you get to do the hula hula, right? There it is. You got the talent. All right. And then we'll try to do a little bounce there. I'm actually quite impressed with how well the bubble holds together. And then we just turn it over. Yeah, wait for it to get a little bit bigger. Okay. And then when you're ready to release the bubble, you kind of flick your wrist up, not right. super fast, but just with a little bit of intention, and it'll, it'll close off your bubble and allow it to fall. Should be about ready. There it is right there. there. Go. You got your flying ghost bubble. I got my certificate in flying ghost bubbles now. Hey. That is really cool. Now, if you don't happen to have a vented Erlenmeyer flask at home, don't worry. We got you covered. Okay. Because what you can do is you can create one at home. Now, even something as simple as a foam Sonic cup okay. uh, is gonna be a really good container. We've got a Tupperware container, but you know, uh, like I said, a, a Sonic cup works really well for this. Okay. Yeah, so I was just gonna show you how easy it is to make one of these. Okay. So if you have a lid, get some scissors and, and carefully puncture a hole in the side. That's our little notch, right? Uh, so that's the one for the straw to go. For this one, since I don't have a real long straw, I'm gonna put this off to the side. Got it. And then on the other side, I'm gonna switch these around. On the other side, that's where you can put your hole. Gotcha. So I'm gonna let you add your ingredients okay. to this one. Let me put my glove on here. All right. And if you're wondering what size piece, really any size piece that fits inside that container. So since we have a nice big uh, open lid, you can fit a really big chunk in there. Okay. And I'll then pour that one in for me. we're gonna go with some hot water. Okay. Seal our lid on. Now, one thing to remember, this lid is ventilated. So we're not building up any pressure. So all of that pressure is going to be able to release and come out of it. Okay. And so it's coming out quite a bit like you said before. So we might have a little trouble getting the bubbles to form. Yeah, it may be a little bit tough. Oh, there we go. Okay. We've got some bubbles happening. And if you can happen to find a funnel, mm -hmm. that'll make your bubbles even bigger. So uh, you can kind of play around with some of your materials at home. Um, this is some uh, medical hosing, but really you can use any type of hose that you want. Uh, with our straw, we used some hot glue to get it to stay there. 
if you get the right size hole and you get some hosing that's a little bit flexible, it'll pretty much stay there um, just the way you need for this type of an experiment. Wow, I'm a bunch of balls on yeah, that, that one's kind of cool looking. And that took all of just a minute just to put together, just the scissors, poking the holes, putting the straw in, and then you've got your regulator, I guess is the best way to put it, put your finger on there to adjust how much you have coming out. Your throttle. Oh yeah, throttle, I love that. That's way easier to say. So there we go, awesome. Thomas, this has been so much fun. Thank you for letting us come by and have a lot of fun with these different experiments involving dry ice and some easy things to do at home. All right, so that's gonna do it for this episode. Don't forget to stay tuned. Next Monday, we'll have our next one ready to go, releasing at 1 o'clock, kark.com forward slash science. Until then, we'll see you. Check it out. Oh, that is so cool. It's getting tinier. <laughs>